Hello, my name is Blake and I'm with In the Hyperloop. I just wanted to give a quick update on some news that happened overnight. First is The Boring Company. They have updated their website. Um, basically, they added the new tab, East Coast, and they go into detail about their DC to Baltimore loop, which again is not classic Hyperloop. This is just uh, skates and, you know, six to 18 people on, you know, each pod and going about 125 to 150 miles an hour. Um, so they, you know, go into details about, you know, why this is important, um, decreased commute times, increased, uh, decreased urban congestion, and decreased public transportation trip times, uh, costs, and decreased greenhouse gas emissions. Um, the alignment um, is pretty much where they've been planning all along, along um, this Baltimore Washington Parkway. Um, 35 miles, and uh, this will be kind of the first segment that will eventually extend to New York City, which is exciting. And again, 8 to 16 passengers. Uh, the Boring Company would pay for this privately, which is interesting. Um, we have not heard any uh, ways of, you know, funding this project, um, except through flamethrowers and hats. And um, we haven't heard any of like the insurance risk funding or any other kind of exotic ways to fund this. So we'll stay tuned on that. Um, it'll be entirely underground, which, um, you know, four tunnel boring machine launch pits. And I don't know if that would be like, you know, two, uh, you know, going one way and two coming the other way and then they meet in the center. Uh, we'll hear more about that later. Um, and then, a, you know, quite a few 20 ventilation shafts um, and emergency exits. So that's really nice uh, that there will be emergency exits if you need to get out of the, in the, in the loop. And um, shafts are between 12, which I guess is like a stairwell, and 24 feet in diameter, which would maybe would fit a vehicle. Um, but I'm just guessing. Um, depth would be more than 30 feet. Um, and... This is just all really information. Um, I think the critical thing is 12 to 20 months, depending on achieved speed of the boring machine. That's pretty fast. That's just construction. I don't know if that's operational and testing as well. Um, probably not. A host slew of agencies working in this. Um, yep. And where would the stations go? Would you know? If they want to work with the cities, which I think is another kind of about. Um, or it's, it's good that they want to work with cities because this will be kind of a, so they say, a pedestrian and bicycle first initiative. Um, how long would the trips take? Uh, Baltimore and DC downtowns in 15 minutes, that's just crazy. Um, how much would the trip cost, you know, around public transportation fees? I'm not exactly sure what those are right now, but we'll research that. Um, again, prioritization of pedestrians and cyclists. Uh, it's not the same as maglev. Uh, these skates will have wheels like a Tesla basically. Um, and yeah, it's not a hyperloop. It's, you know, but maybe eventually they'll pressurize or depressurize these um, tubes, uh, these tunnels. And so even faster vehicles can go in them. And, you know, they have an East Coast at boringcompany.com for questions and feedback. Um, next, I just want to show you their technology, and it's the Boring Company is pulling out all the stops. And um, the final thing is that, um, uh, you know, the Boring Company is also bidding uh, for Chicago O'Hare to downtown Chicago. Um, and Elon Musk is basically saying here, we're one of two bids, por que lo, no los dos, you know. The other bid is about uh, a train. Um, and of course the Boring Company would be a tunnel. I think that's really fascinating how he's thinking outside the box. And finally, we're just gonna go to the media. Oh no. Well, there's media of um, Elon Musk uh, showing a Model 3 uh, pushing a cart through the tunnel in Los Angeles. And um, it's just kind of interesting. It's cross-promotional and kind of fun. Um, but they are certainly digging up a lot of muck in Los Angeles, completing the, you know, the first section and then going another further two miles towards 
uh, the airport LAX. We'll have another video on that. But until then, subscribe uh, to In the Hype Loop and stay in the loop.